Hey train friends, welcome back to another train show walkthrough video. Today we are at the Greenberg show in Monroeville, PA, just outside of Pittsburgh. It's the fall 2022 show here at the Monroeville Convention Center. We're gonna go in and check it out. Be sure to stay tuned for all the operating layouts and we're gonna check out what vendors have for sale, talk to some people, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's go see what's going on in there. <laughs> So here we are, we just entered the show. You can see it's one big giant hall. There's this guy, I forget his name, he sells really nice artwork. And you can just see the, the hall is, is huge. And it's pretty busy. I would say um, I'm here a little bit later than when it started, so it's um, probably died down a bit, but we're gonna go around and check it out and see what's here. So come along for the journey, let's check it out. We got some O gauge trains here. Some cool stuff. Santa Fe engines. Nice. Awesome. Here we go. Here's some nice stuff. Check this out. That's a DD 40X MTH. There's a nice little car from Western. There's the hobo scene from Lionel. Awesome. Really nice engines here. Check these out. There's a GG1. Uh, nice Santa Fe. Check out the drilling in that area there. Move over here. There's a nice Dreyfus Hudson. It's a Williams. It's a cab forward from Williams. And there's a nice yeah. high Like these are like that's 15. But just to add really nice. some, because I only Check out these passenger cars over here and freight cars. We only have seven cars left. And the two a lot of nice stuff over here. But to add to So as you can see there is a lot to choose from at this show. I'm already seeing stuff I like, so let's go check out some more. And here's a large O-gauge modular layout. This is the Pittsburgh Independent High Railers layout. You can see all kind of details in the street scene here. Ecto one back there. That's awesome. And Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right, and here is Brady's train outlet, and he has a huge area here for his booth. Hey John, say hi, you're on YouTube. Hey, how you doing Nick? How you doing, how's the show going? Hey, terrific, terrific, the show's good. Hey Nick, come here, look at this train down here I got. Look at this big. Oh, that's beautiful. 412 too, look at that baby. That green is nice. Oh, that green is beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> Love it. I don't know if I want to sell it. <laughs> you might need to keep that for yourself. I got a couple of them. Yeah, always got, I got, always got more than one. 
I like this, the uh, yeah, the, the bud the, car set. Bud car set. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. That'd it be... didn't sell well, but then you know what happens? You sell them, then all of a sudden you don't have any more than everybody wants them. Yeah. So how many tables do you have set up here? Uh, Looks like a, we oh. pay for eight or nine, we get twenty. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. You got a lot of sets, I see. Oh yeah. And all this stuff's available at your store. Exactly everything. Yeah. yeah. So you can visit Bradystrains.com. Right. Come to Brady's Train Island, 1046 South Main Street, Greensboro, Pennsylvania. If I'm not there, see my number one uh, person, Annie. She's there. All right. And uh, the guy that's doing this video, his name is Nick Fools. I'll tell you what, he does a fantastic job. Check right. his uh, backdrops. What do you call them things, Nick? The building flats. Oh, the building flats. Yeah, we just sold some yesterday in the store of Brady's. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Very well, thanks, good. John. It was good to see you again. Hey, okay. Thanks. Thanks for doing it, Nick. All right. Thanks. Here's some more Brady's trains. There's a, a Lionel T1. Oh, man. That hits my heart hard. <laughs> I love that engine. And there's the uh, MTH Q2. I have a Q2. Those things are bad ace. I'll say ace, like a SD70 ACE. <laughs> keep it, keep it clean, guys. Here's a Union Railroad switchers. Rail King. There's a Norfolk Southern. Looks like a Legacy SD60M. 600. There's a CSX SD38, also 600. Here's an, a rare engine. It's an Iron City switcher for 350. I think those are Prius 2. Check out this Redding T1. That's nice. You can see back there he's got more engines, more sets. Let's walk around and, and check it out. Excuse me. There's uh, some nice MPC era trains, a chassis system. Some uh, military cars with the tanks on them. Those are so nice. $85 is a great deal for those. That's a steal. There's one of those new uh, rocket diners from Menards with smoke. Really cool. Check these out. These are uh, new Lionel. Uh, what are they called? The um, coil cars with the graffiti on them. Wow, that's really cool. Those are nice. There's the George Bush for 550. SD70 ACE. There's the uh, Norfolk Southern. Really cool. I did a review on this engine. This is the Pennsylvania General with Lion Chief Bluetooth. Can check that out on the channel. I'll put a link in the video. Okay, bye bye. And then here's a, a custom run Brady's Train Outlet exclusive Union Railroad switcher. Um, I did pick one of these up, so uh, the review on that will be coming soon. And uh, there's a nice Conrail switcher. I think that's the one I, yeah, that is the one I, I did a review on as well. Hey, Nick, look at this train right here. Oh, we got a nice train to look at. Oh, here we go. I might buy it. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Thanks, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, keep it going. What do we got in here? I got a Legacy Norfolk and Western J. Oh. 611. It was weathered by Harry Hinky in New Harry. Jersey. Oh, nice. Oh, he does nice work. He does amazing work. Let me show you what this is. Already know it's gonna be nice. <laughs> oh wow, that's the custom painted one he did. I think he fixed the, the colors on the the stripes. They came from Lionel and they were like a brighter red. Yeah. And I think he he repainted them so it had the correct uh, like I that Tuscan color. I thought he was going to weather it though. Yeah, no. I think I think that's what they he did. He he corrected the the paint color on these. They came like really bright red. I don't know if you recall that. It looks really good. It looks amazing. And these have whistle steam too. Oh, they do? Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure that's the one that has the whistle steam. Let me see what it says on the box. Yeah, it definitely does. I see the, the hole drilled in there. Is this is this yours to sell? 
I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna sell it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, John's gonna have it if you're if somebody's yeah, watching it. Smoke. Yeah, whistle smoke. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a really nice engine. That's you like it? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thanks hey, for hey, showing Nick, it to me. Should I buy it, Nick? Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a really neat little modular end scale layout. I like this airport, that's awesome. With the little rotating beacon. That's sick. <laughs> Here's the farm. Where's the train at? Here's the train coming this way. It's taking a little while. Let's walk over to it. Oh man, it's an AVR too, that's sick. That's really cool. Nice little winter scene. Awesome. Looks nice. I like the, the AVR engine. Grew up seeing those around town, you know? <laughs> oh, custom painted. Uh, that's it looks it looks like it's factory made. It's awesome. He did a really good job. Here comes another train coming down that way. Which way is it going to go? It's going to come past the, the crop field. Nice. That's awesome. Kim's trains and things. Tons of HO scale kits. Lots and lots of stuff here. Walters kits and buildings you can see they just have a ton of stuff it's like a whole train store here just like how brady's was it's amazing let's go over here we got another uh, another lay operating layout this is the iron city end scale layout oh this one's really nice wow there's a nice turntable engine facilities check that out that's awesome Nice station. Here comes the train, the RJ Corman. Check this out. This is gonna be a nice shot. Here comes a, a GG1. Perfect timing across the bridge in the water scene. That's sick. Walk around the other side and check it out over there. Oh, nice. Lots of detail on this little modular layout. detail on that little scene there. That's crazy. There's the farm. There's some uh, HO scale trains. A lot of people always ask me why don't I show HO stuff, but here it is. There's a, a nice case full of trains. That one's awesome. So oh, on YouTube. Even better. The T1. You watch my channel on YouTube? Oh yes I do. I'm getting I'm getting this one. This one's gonna go on there too. <laughs> Thank you. There's a guy that has a bunch of die cast cars. Check this out. I'm sure you could find something here you like. There's a lot of choices there. Check that out. Wow. That's amazing. I like that one. That one just caught my eye. <laughs> Wonder why. 
<laughs> wow, the detail on this HO layout is crazy. Really nice. It's a little modular layout. Do you mind if I take some pictures? Do you, do you build these layouts? Do yeah, you, they sell the, see the kits. Oh, you, see the, you sell the kits, I see. I gotcha, cool. The only kit on the market that can allow you to build a door and get it basically going in a couple of weeks. Oh, wow. And you never do go to the Home Depot. But we make end scale, by the way. Wow. It's a nice end scale switching layout. side they have a another layout over here you can see there's like a winter scene let's get a better view over here on this other side Accessories for kids to press buttons here. The loading and unloading features. Really neat. It's a nice layout. Alright, we're here at Lens Train and Diecast Shop. Is display at the show. And Len is here. How you doing, Len? How you doing, Nick? So tell us somebody uh, that knew somebody that is watching how they can contact you if they see something they like okay. on the table. My name's Lens Train Shop and Custom Diecast. We're at 136 Lawfer Lane, Irwin, off of Mars Hill Road, Irwin, Pennsylvania. My phone number is 724-446-9791, and hope everybody has a great holiday. Thanks, Lynn. So yeah, we did a, I did a walkthrough at your store. Yeah. So you can go back, if viewers can go back and see that, they can see how great your store is and the layout you're building is crazy huge. It's and you have so many trains to look at, but you have a lot here. So if somebody sees something on this video, they can contact you. Yeah. And uh, so. Right, I have a lot of stuff that I didn't even bring. <laughs> I have I'm approximately sure. right now between two to 300 locomotives in my shop. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yeah, so there you heard it. Len has a lot of trains, so if it's not here, you can always call him up. He's yep, a, I might have a huge dealer. He might have it. So thanks, Len. I appreciate hey, it. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, no problem. So you can see he's got a nice selection of locomotives here at the show. I like this uh, CSX Army Veterans. That's sweet. Pittsburgh Train Fanatics, number one video. <laughs> To watch <laughs> thanks i appreciate that there's a nice new york central check out these k4s over here len was showing me he's just showing me these before i started the the video beautiful k4s from mth with proto 3 and uh, i'm sure you could call and talk to him about purchasing one of these if you're interested this one here is with the the tuscan paint job and those gold spoked wheels is uh is that's actually really beautiful check that out it's a little bit lighter right on the roof and the top of the tender there that's really nice i uh i like this ugly duckling here the sd9 that's a uh rail king and from mth you see something you like here's a couple of the, the rail king canadian pacific uh military schemes Got the uh, Coors Brewing switcher and the Conrail switcher. Those, those two, I believe, are Legacy, if I'm not mistaken. And we got some bump and go trolleys. There's an MTH Erie Lackawanna with PS3. There's a the Katie. I like. I love the Erie paint scheme. This is a nice Erie SD70 AC. Uh, these got the matching cabooses for those. It's a nice Union Railroad switcher. 
it's a local railroad. You can see he's got all kind of freight cars here. Oh, yeah. Lots yeah, and yeah. lots of cars. Uh, These of cars are with the with the pup trailers on them are really nice. I like those a lot. I may pick that one up today. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. And on the other side, he has tons of diecast cars. Maybe we'll go over there and check those out real quick. Here's the other side of Len's display with all the these uh, custom billboards that they make. These are really neat. Battery powered billboards. 20 bucks each. Here's a lot of nice cars. They do a lot of custom detailing to these cars. And I showed these at York. He was actually at York and just like, look at that. You get a, a nice truck for 20 bucks and it even comes with pigs in the back or cows. Those are really nice, actually. Maybe I'll pick one up today. And then if we kind of move down here, you can see there's some more. I, I mentioned this one in my York video as well. This one has pumpkins in it. Really neat. Only 15 bucks. Great deal. So here's a lot, all the movie cars. He has tons and tons of diecast cars in his in his store too. Just like here, look at how far down this goes. This is crazy. Think of the the production to get all this stuff here back and forth from the store to the, to the show. It's got to be a lot of work. Hire a lot of helping hands to move it around. So. It's really nice stuff. All the construction equipment's really nice. So if you see something you like, contact Len. amazing artwork and I uh, showed some of it briefly at York they just have he has some amazing artwork that you can purchase you can buy the the uh, just the print itself or the print in the frame I have a couple of his pieces they're really nice planning on uh, I gotta get find a spot for them in the train room still beautiful So that's Peter Lero Productions. There he, there's his info. So if you saw something you like, call him. There's a nice display of some uh, traditionally sized locomotives. Got some operating accessories here. Uh, Iron Horse Engraving. You can find them at ironhorseengraving.com. He makes really amazing wind signs, trains, even the front of this locomotive right here. 15. The one that caught my eye is this one here, the, the Pittsburgh sign. I like that. This uh, this Western Maryland logo is really cool. And the UP. Look at the how the letters are like raised in it. Just the, the detail in that. It's really nice. Only 38 bucks for that one. It's a great deal. So as you can see, it makes some really amazing things. Like even these these plaques are really nice. Check that out. Really nice. Beautiful. There's Dick's Drain House of Greensburg PA. I missed this on my first trip around the store. It's got a lot of uh, really nice things here. <laughs> Iowa. Uh, nice engine. 
margins here on this shelf. <laughs> Got a bunch of freight cars. Some uh, accessories and things. Ooh, pirate's car for 55 bucks. Premier. That's a that's a rare car to find. Some street cars. Cool. Train friends, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the train show. And don't forget to please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. My next video will be the haul from this video and from York, which I've not done yet. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at PGH Train Fanatic. You can also support the channel on Patreon. Every little bit helps. Thanks again for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon.